I get the pleasure of being here with you this morning and uh, kicking off this program, which I think is is actually one of my favorites. Uh, as Kathleen said, I'm a big user of the library. Um, but when I was your ages, how, how old are you? 14, 12? 14? Who's over here? 14? When I was your age, I was not a big user of the library. Um, one of the reasons was that, and I tell this story all the time, and actually I tell it to my children, who are 24, 20, and 18, and hate me calling them children. But first grade, second grade, I actually stayed back. I couldn't read. I had a problem reading, so therefore I had to repeat the first grade and the second grade. So my career at, at your age, I was always two years older than my peers. And if you ever struggle with reading, and you can't get the words out, you can't pronounce them, you're embarrassed to stand up in front of people. That's how I was. But my parents and my teachers work with me. And the one thing I did like to do was to play football. And so when I was in 10th grade, I had an English teacher that decided I couldn't go to practice unless I read one or two books. And since I hated reading, um, she gave me a choice of Weathering Heights, which was about that thick, and Black Boy, which was that thick. Which one do you think I chose? Black Boy. I was like, you know what? I'll take the smallest book because I'm going to be finished with this and I'll be back on the practice field. Little did I know, she really was tricking me. When I read Black Boy and Richard Wright, it opened my eyes to things I had never thought of in my entire life. It changed everything that I wanted to do with my life. It made me decide that I wanted to do something. I didn't know what it was. Because what I found out from reading Black Boy and Richard Wright's story was one, how blessed I was. Even though I wasn't a terrific student, even though I had stayed back twice, I was blessed to have parents who had stuck with me. I had teachers who had worked with me. That book caused me to want to read the things that changed his life. And so what I did was I started writing down every book he read, authors like John Dos Passos. Uh, anybody that Richard Wright read, I wanted to get inside his mind and figure out how he got to be from Mississippi to one of the greatest writers there is. And from that day to this day, and this is something if you ever run into my children, they will tell you, if I am not reading, I am in a really bad mood. <laughs> that is why this program is so important. That is why 30 minutes for 30 days won't change our lives up here, won't change your parents' lives, won't change your teachers' lives, but it will change yours. You're going to find something in some book that will shape what you want to do with your life, that will cause you to decide what it is, what your contribution in life is going to be. Um, and so any chance that I get to participate in a program like this to meet young folks like yourselves and just think about the wonderful things you're going to do and the different places that, uh, that books will take you. I always tell people, you know, it, no matter what the movie is, if it's based on the book, the book is better. Writing and good writing can take you places. But it is because of the reading. It is because of one book that I was able to go on to college, to law school. And believe me, when I go back home, people are thinking, we never thought that guy was going to ever make it out of college, let alone become county executive. But is that important to you? As, as, uh, as Angie said about Frederick Douglass, once Frederick Douglass heard that reading, if you teach a slave to read, you can never keep him as a slave. That was the thing. That one thing is what stuck in his mind. It freed him, and reading frees you uh, to do many things. So we're excited about what you're going to do. Who's all going to read for 30 days, 30 minutes?
You're excited about it? Do you know what book you're going to get? What book are you getting? What do you like to read? What do you like to do? <laughs> and what do you like to do? Read. Is it a favorite reading? Mysteries. Are you reading right now? Two tears in a book? Great. Anybody else just finished a book or is reading a book? You. The what? Terrific. Anybody else? Yes. How many pages? Who reads thick books and small books? Thick? <laughs> well, as long as you're reading, it's the important things. Um, I'm reading right now uh, a history book, Washington, A Life, which is really thick and hard to get through, um, but it's exciting. So I always have at least one or two books with me, and um, you're going to enjoy it. Well, thank you. You're wonderful children. We're very proud of you in Prince George's County. And uh, tell your parents you met the county executive. You don't know what he does, but you met him. Thank you. <laughs>